Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT JMMS 2022, problem number 9. The problem says that let x1 through xn be a random sample from exponential 1 by theta distribution, where theta greater than 0 is unknown. If x bar equals to 1 by n summation xi, i running from 1 to n, that means the sample mean, then which one of the following statements is not true? That means one of them is a false statement. Which one is that? There are four options and one of them is the false statement. Which one is that? So it is given that x1 through xn follows iid exponential 1 by theta, right? Because random sample means they are independent and identically distributed, the distribution being exponential 1 by theta. This PTF is nothing but theta into e to the minus theta x, right? For x positive and 0 otherwise, right? This is the PTF of the distribution from which the random sample is taken. Now, this fx can be written as e to the power natural log of theta into e to the power minus theta x, right? This can be written as that. This theta into e to the minus theta x, this particular thing can be written as this way, which in turn can be written as e to the power natural log of theta minus theta x, right? This thing, this thing can be written as this, right? This, this PDF is actually nothing but this, right? It can be written as this. It is entirely in the form of e to the power something. Now, See, the support of the distribution, that means the this support the, for x is positive, thus the set on which the PDF is positive, the function is positive, is independent of theta, right? See, here the support is x greater than 0. That means the set of positive real numbers is the support. So it is independent of theta. Secondly, the parameter space, the set of all values the parameter can take, here theta is positive. That means the set of all positive real numbers is the parameter space. It is also an open interval in r right it is an open interval you can see finally this minus theta and x these are all this both minus theta and x are both non-constant functions of theta and x respectively right minus theta is a non-constant function of theta and x is also a non-constant function of x respectively right therefore if x belongs to opef that means if x this for pdf this function this probability density function belongs to one parameter exponential family this is actually a concept you need to know the concept of one parameter exponential family so this pdf actually belongs this distribution actually belongs to opef that means one parameter exponential family and hence tx curl which is summation of t of xi i running from 1 to n is actually summation xi is a complete sufficient statistic of theta that means here t of xi here, here tx is nothing but this x this this function this entire thing is actually of the form some u of theta that means some function of theta times some function of x plus some function of theta plus some function of x here that the function the initial function is minus theta the function of theta is with this minus theta multiplied by a function of x which is x in here plus some function of theta which is natural log of theta plus some function of x which is zero here so ultimately this tx here this is tx this tx this summation xi is actually this follows this follows from the theory of one parameter exponential family this summation xi is actually a complete sufficient statistic of theta now since x bar which is one by n summation xi being a one to one function of tx curl this tx for this thing this x bar being a one to one function of summation xi is also a complete sufficient statistic of theta obviously Therefore, by the lemon shift theorem, if hx curl is an unbiased estimator of theta, if hx curl is an unbiased estimator of theta, then the conditional expectation of hx curl given x bar is the UMVOE of theta. That means the uniformly minimum variance unbiased estimator of theta. That means you, you take any unbiased estimator of theta, suppose h, and the conditional, the conditional expectation of h given x bar, x bar being the complete sufficient statistic, this entire conditional expectation is the UMVOE of theta. This conditional expectation is actually a function of x bar, right? Because this is a conditional expectation. This is not a constant. Now, expectation of x is obviously theta, right? Expectation of x bar is obviously also theta. Therefore, x bar is an UE of theta. That means unbiased estimator of theta, right? And hence, x bar is an UMVOE of theta because it is obviously a x bar is a function of x bar, right? it is obviously uh, any since this this thing as you can see this thing says that any you take any unbiased estimator of theta and you can you, if you take a conditional expectation of that function given the 
complete sufficient statistic x bar, then that thing that that entire function, that it, entire conditional expectation is the UMV of theta. That this also means that if you can find a function, if you can find an estimator, an unbiased estimator of theta based on x bar, then that is UMV of theta. This also means that that means now since x bar is is an unbiased estimator of theta, that means it, it is also an UMV of theta. So the first option is true. This first option, x bar is the UMV of theta. This is true. This is not false. This is true. Now x bar squared is the UMV of theta squared or not? Let's see. Okay. So now let us take the expectation of x bar squared, which is variance of x bar plus expectation of x bar whole squared, right? Which is theta squared by n plus theta squared, which is which means expectation of n by n plus one into x bar squared is theta squared, right? That means n by n plus one into x bar squared. This thing based because this is this entire thing is a function of x bar again this is the umv of theta square right this is the umv of theta square therefore that means this thing this entire thing this say a third option is true n by n plus one into x bar square is the umv of theta square this is this is true now Obviously, this means that this cannot be this in, from just just from this thing. We can immediately see that x bar is not the UMV of theta square. That means option B is the true answer of this problem. But let's just explore a bit more for this problem. So obviously, x bar square cannot be the UMV because n by n plus one into x bar square is the UMV of theta, and hence it only x bar square can never be the UMV of theta, right? So option B is obviously wrong. Now, lastly, since Xn is also a unbiased estimator of theta, therefore expectation of Xn given x bar, that's, that means the conditional expectation of Xn given x bar is the UMV of theta, right? Because Xn is the unbiased estimator of theta. Therefore, variance of this thing, variance of this entire thing must be less than equals variance of Xn, right? Because it is the UMV, it must have the minimum variance, right? Therefore, its variance must be less than equals the variance of simply Xn. Xn just a, is just an inverse estimator of theta. But expectation of Xn given x bar is the UMV of theta. Minimum variance and bias estimator. Therefore, its variance must be less than equals the variance of Xn. Therefore, option D is also true. That means options A, option C, and option D are all true. That means option B is not true. Therefore, option B is the correct answer to this problem. So this is the solution to this problem. Trying it in the one parameter exponential family is actually gets you faster to the answer. Obviously, if you also should know that x bar is the complete sufficient statistic for this family, it also helps for this MCQ type problem. But anyway, this is the way to solve this problem. So do like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems. See you till next time.